afternoon, Familia. This is Richie again here from Southtown Paint Apps, and I'm showing you a quick update on my uh, Steve Rogers. Um, is a work in progress still. Basically, I took the Commander Rogers body, and I really didn't like that head cast it came with. Thought it was a really horrible choice for a head cast, but um, I had bought in this. Uh, shrunken down uh, head cast of uh, Chris Evans as Captain America and at the time my idea was to take his and put it on this body here but um, I don't like the blue in this one I don't know why I think it's a little bit too bright of a blue I wanted a, one more a little bit toned down so um I decided to stick with this body so what I ended up doing to him was I just painted in for right now the little buckles here and um, on the side of his leg you know painted the straps painted in the buckles here I decided to leave the glossy part there and I really don't like it for um, a pair of shoes I mean his boots Considering that you'd think he'd be um, fighting and all that, and his shoes are super glossy. I mean, they're nice, but not my style. Um, I gave him... He, when I bought this used off eBay, it was just a plain body. So it didn't come with no guns or no um, shield. So I ended up buying a cast of these of his original guns that he came with I just have to um, I still haven't decided whether I'm gonna paint them up or um, just add some add a dry brush in there to bring out a little bit of the details I'm still undecided as to how I want to paint them I might just do the silver part on the top part of the gun I'm not sure yet I also gave him this gun and these are the type of guns you can get on off of eBay usually five or six guns for like five bucks and this one seemed to fit him really nice although I think it's, it might be a bit too big for him but when I pose him he seems seems to be in good scale with him so you know I ended up just dry brushing a little bit here and there Maybe the camera pick it up a little bit. You can see some. Just added some gray. I mean, some silver dry brush. Not, nothing too fancy. Just enough to where it could bring out the color in him. The I mean, the color and the, the details in the gun. And I had this extra shield here, which is the one that comes with this cap. So I added a magnet here. I need to add one more. But I'm still undecisive as to this is the, the shield I want him to have. I really don't like it for him, at least for his col the color scheme he has here. So what I ended up doing was I got him a clear one. And this is like the regular um, ultimate uh, cap or the um, hit mon from like the hit monkey wave. So it's, it's excuse me. So it's this shield it's the clear one which is the one he used when he was wearing this uniform and um, I was blessed enough that I got it off of eBay and um, I really like it so far so I might magnetize it I'll just put in a magnet here and fill this in because I don't like this whole little peg that's there I just I, I'm not a fan of those those shields and I, well, let's see. I still have to finish in his his details on his face. I like I said at the time I was using it for this cap, but so I there's um, definitely paint paint chips here because I I stopped painting it at the time, and then I used a different blue. I kind of like the contrast in the different blues because it's more of a darker blue, and this is more like a this is kind of like the blue I want on him, actually. 
I think it's a navy blue, but I'm not I'm not really sure about it. I gave him a holster, but um, it really doesn't fit the guns on him, so I might have to make him um, a custom one or find a way where I can um, get some get some material. Probably have it on on the side of his belt here. I'll figure it out a way. And this is just to show a little comparison and how big he is. He really is a tall figure. There's that one. And then there's the Marvel Now Captain, which is one of my favorites. But um, this blue color scheme is not really to my liking. I really want to take off all the paint and repaint him. But, um... At the time when I first started customizing, I really wasn't sure as you know how how to apply paint well and all that. But I really hate, I mean, the glossiness. I mean, he's got a nice sculpt, but it doesn't really come out. I did add a dry brush. I mean, I added a black wash at the time, but um, I don't know. I might go back and repaint them all together. I added like little scuff marks here and there on his helmet, but this was one of my earliest um, paintings I did. I was satisfied at the time, but again, I didn't know what I was doing. It was more about just like wanting to have my figures be a little bit different. So that's that one. We're not here to review him anyway. So again, this is my... Um, Commander Rogers one with the, the old Hasbro body that's been used on by different like on Drax it's been used by the Punisher I really like it it's a little bit exaggerated in certain areas like these muscles but I mean I like the, the ball hips some people don't I really like them it makes more sense to have them but um appearance wise yeah they look they don't look well but they're well hidden because of the color scheme and so hopefully i'll get be done with him and um hope that you like the video i'm trying to get much better at these videos trying to get more um as far as my my voice being more fluid more more easy but um if you like, please subscribe, hit the like button. I want to thank personally thank all those that have subscribed recently. I want to thank you guys so, so much. I want to thank the local toy groups here, the San Diego toy groups, the, 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 the um, there's a VFH group uh, show coming, coming up next week. So... These are all in San Diego, so hopefully you guys can attend. Thank you, and um, again, thank you all so much, and have a good day.